Okay, this is uh, Pythagoras. Why were the ancient uh, Pythagoreans and Platonists so interested in uh, harmonic ratios? And uh, they certainly were not interested in music for the sake of music, but rather uh, harmonics. The, uh, the golden ratio to the Fibonacci sequence found in nature found everywhere, and uh, I'm the one that actually discovered that the golden ratio applies even to the most fundamental principle of the universe, geromagnetic precession and magnetic reciprocation, i.e. magnetism itself. So if the Pythagoreans weren't interested in music, then why are they through so many ancient uh, wood-cut uh, drawings and whatnot, uh, and also some old writings interested and uh, musical harmonics. Well, it's just for a better comprehension, a tool and methodology to grasp uh, harmonics in nature, as found in nature, which is applicable to anything. Something that's in harmony is uh, that which is most simplex, self-reciprocation, so. Well, that doesn't sound right. So, if we apply the golden ratio here, okay, Let's remove that, okay, let's remove that, and let's remove that. The Fibonacci sequence is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Oh, we could stand just to go with 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. So now let's see uh, what the harmonics of the golden ratio sound is applied to the premise of the Pythagoreans. One, one, two, three, five, eight. What if we were to double up the harmonics and not only use the golden ratio here, but also apply the golden ratio to the interval between each note? So instead of one, one, two, three, five, eight, we went one, one, two, three, five, eight. So a temporal interval of the golden ratio, so not only are we uh, striking out the golden ratio, but the golden ratio at a rate of the golden ratio. We have uh, three-dimensional harmonics. So let's see how that sounds. Sounds pretty melodious to me, what do you think? So we have the golden ratio. And then we apply the golden ratio in temporal intervals on top of the golden ratio that we're already, um, already striking here. So at an interval between 5 and 8 of 8, an interval between 3 and 5 of 5, an interval between 2 and 3 of 3, so... Here we go. Pythagoreans were interested in not in music for the sake of music, not that there's anything wrong with that, but interested in ratios, simplex indivisibles, and the universal constants of the universe. And the universal constants of the universe are the golden ratio, the golden angle, golden intervals. Now the term golden doesn't mean anything. What these are are uh, self-extracting simplex uh, uh, fractal extrapolate. One is to five is five is to one. What does that mean? Well, it would take me like a thousand pages to tell you what one is to five is five is to one. It's so incredibly simple. You know, oddly enough, the most simplex things are the hardest to actually explain to people. Isn't that the irony of the universe? Harmony. This is what the ancient Pythagoreans were interested in. Not music for the sake of music. See you later. Bye.